The U.N. General Assemblies voted to call for an end to the U.S. embargo on Cuba for the 19th consecutive year. The non-binding measure drew support from 187 countries, with the U.S. joined only by Israel in opposition. The U.S. Ambassador for the Western Hemisphere, Ronald Goddard, defended the U.S. embargo before the vote. It is the view of the United States that a new era in U.S.-Cuban relations cannot be fully realized until the Cuban people enjoy the internationally recognized political and economic freedoms that this body has done so much to defend in other countries around the world. Mr. President, my delegation will vote against this resolution. Indeed, the United States believes that it is high time for this body to focus its energies on supporting the Cuban people in their quest to freely decide their own future and move beyond the rhetorical posturing that this resolution represents. The two no votes marked a decline from last year, when the U.S. and Israel were also joined by the small island nation of Palau. Cuban Foreign Affairs Minister Bruno Rodriguez Padilla criticized the Obama administration for extending the embargo. The policy of the United States against Cuba is devoid of any legal or ethical ground, nor does it have any credibility or support. This has been evidenced by over 180 votes in the General Assembly, which for the past years have been calling for an end to economic, commercial and financial blockade.